Hello, this is Deborah Carmona. I'm in my woodwork shop because we have a woodworking project to do. I am in the process of converting an old entertainment center that was made of oak cabinet. A really nice cabinet. I didn't want to just throw it away. We, we got rid of the big old TV and now we're down to the flat screen TV which doesn't require a huge cabinet. Um, so I just didn't want to throw away the cabinet so I thought I would remake it and turn it into a storage closet because I'm an artist and I have lots of arts and crafts stuff, you know, paint and paper and all kind of supplies. So I needed a place, I'm always looking for more storage room. So this cabinet, it was very beautifully sandwiched between my bookshelves and my base, which is sort of my slash computer room, den, uh, drawing room, project room. It's a, it's a large room and a multi-purpose room. And I, so I've been wanting for some time now to convert that shelf. And so I'm going to show you how easy it is to convert that shelf into a useful closet. Now I had to make a few repairs on the doors because the person that owned it before kind of messed it up a little bit. They cut the door a little bit. They drilled holes through the door. And so there were some things that I had to do to get the doors looking, you know, whole again. So I'm going to show you that project. In today's project we are going to convert this previously entertainment center into a storage cabinet. This is our library, our family library, which is part of our den. It's my workspace, it's my arts and crafts space, it's the computer um, office for my husband, it's my, my art center, and it's our library. So it's sort of an all-purpose room. And this used to be our old entertainment center that housed a big TV. And right now, it's just a useless space. Now I am using the shelves down below. All of our games are here because we have a table here where we could, you know, play games around a table. So all the games are stored here. But this big empty space, it's, it's deep. You know, it's, it's potential storage space. And it's really a beautiful cabinet. And I found the doors that go to it. So I want to use those doors and put them back on. And I want to put a backing in it. And I want to put shelves in it to make this a useful space so I can hide the clutter. Right now you can see it's just junk, junk piled here. And I can't stand it anymore. Removed the bottom shelf that didn't need to be there because it had it had a gap on this side and it was just kind of wasted space. We took that out. Our backing is a half inch wide. So I have a half inch space here. I've marked it and measured it. And I've cut a board. This board is in and it's right on the line. So our backing will just fit right there and it will be flush on the back. See, we measured this opening all the way around. So this is to hold, this is to give us something to screw the backing into. So my husband is my partner in this, and I'm holding in the board while he is going to put screws through the side to secure this support board. So we have our support boards to put the backing on, but we haven't put the backing on yet. And I've figured out where I want my shelves. This board here is so that we can attach the hinge to. Um, so I measured and I put supports um, to put the top shelf in. And we had to take one of these off and then just kind of push it up so we could put that in. But I can put the other shelves in now. The first door is on, and you can see that it um, sits inside the frame. It does not overlap like, like kitchen cabinets do. 
and I had to use uh, this type of a hook. I'll show you that a little bit more. It's shaped like that. You can see how it comes out. It's an inset type of hinge shaped like that. And you look at the picture, you can see how see how it sits inside the cabinet, which is what I wanted. And the door already had this cut out, so I don't know what happened to the hinges that were there before. The person who owned this cabinet before took the doors off, and I guess they figured they were never going to use them, so they just put them aside, and I don't know what happened to the hardware. So I like to put my screws in a little bowl so I, they don't roll away or get lost when I'm working. I'm going to show you a different type of a hinge. Um, it's, it looks like the same, this part, but it's this part that's different. Um, this is a kitchen cabinet hinge. And this is where you have the door that sits on top of the frame. But that's not what I want with that cabinet. I want it to sit inside. See, I wanted the cabinet it to stay inside the frame. See. So this is the position that you put it in. Um, you have a slot on this side, which there's a nut on the other side that's going to slide into there, and then there'll be a notch on the, f the, the door part that will slide around there. I'll try to put this on without getting my head in the way. I hope I can do this. Let's slide it on like that on the top and also on the bottom. And then we can browse so it's further from the there so you have a little more of a gap. When you go the opposite way. push the door that way, which I think that's a little too close, so we'll bring it that out. Cut, recheck it. The bottom will come out just a little bit. There we have it, Our, my completed art supply cabinet. And you can't hardly tell of the wood that I added to the top of the door. And our holes, the holes are barely even noticeable where I plugged in them. Let's see, here's another hole right here. And right here, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website, www.ufixitmom.com. Thanks for watching.